Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Pastor Sarah Ebony. I am coming to your way this afternoon to share a topic with you. How deep is your love for Jesus? How deep is your love for Jesus? Scripture. In the book of John 15, verse 13, it said, He said, His love for us is so deep that He laid down His life for us. He laid down His life for us. John 3 16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He gave His only begotten Son for us. That is how deep He loved us. Hallelujah. That is how deep He loved us. Amen. How deep is your love for Him? Deep love comes with sacrifice. Deep love comes with sacrifice. Sacrificing your pleasure, setting, letting go things that cost you so much. Deep love is not cheap. Deep love is costly. How much can you sacrifice for him? The missionaries, um, there are some, some many years ago, some missionaries in Afghanistan, him with his wife and two sons, they want to kill them and they ask them to deny Jesus. And they tell the senior son and said, Is that your son or oh, Jesus? And the son shouted, Daddy. And the daddy shook. And the wife held him closely and said, Honey, relax. Today we'll feast at the feet of Jesus. And he held himself. And they were all killed. How deep is your love for Jesus? At this stage, will you deny him? Or will you still hold on to him? Hallelujah. So there is a missionary in a particular deep village, thick village, where there's no network, nothing, nothing, but so deep with God that so deep with God that his love is so deep with God that I cannot explain the level. Hallelujah. He is in that village preaching the gospel and doing and doing the work of the master. This missionary came back from farm one day and for days no water to bath so he was like ah no i need water and he picked his pocket and held it up and said lord let the heaven rain let it rain from heaven and he ran inside his pocket away and he was able to take his bath hallelujah pastor annabel in ghana was was the one that had conversation with this great missionary in the village. Those people who have no social media to cover the great thing God is doing, they have nothing. It's just between them and God and the village people. That's the way we get to heaven. We we'll see, we we'll see surprises. People you have never heard of their name, you we'll see them on their thrones, and you will be surprised. Those who love God genuinely, they stay in that thick forest, no light, no water, mosquito. In fact, they live there and they. They are doing the work for Jesus. How deep is the love for him? How deep is the love for him? Amen. If you true, if you claim that you truly love him, can you sacrifice for him even at the face of death? Amen. That is how true love is can be measured. When nothing matters but to see him and behold his glory. How much do you love him? Amen. How deep is the love for him? We all want to sit down that AC with a little fridge, with fruits, with juice packed, with water bed, so that when we roll, we feel relaxed and say, wow, thank you, Jesus. How deep is the love for him? Amen. You look at those that are very wealthy so that they can sponsor you and all that. You point them out and you visit them. You want a comfortable life. How deep is your love for him? With this, you will define how deep your love is. And if there is a place for you to repent, there is still space for that. He is waiting for you. If you can come back and say, Lord, I want to increase my love for you. And there is nothing that matters anymore. Father, help me daily to run after you. Help me daily to seek your faith. Help me daily to remain with you. Thank you. See you in my next edition. Hallelujah.